morning, everybody. It is January 29th, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. We are doing the aftermath video because it is done snowing. So we're gonna go around the lake and come back. Hopefully it stays light this whole time because it's gonna be a beautiful video. You guys can see what the roads are like right now. It's not too bad in town. But yeah, this is just about it. If we hit any more snow, it's going to be over by the dam. It's just going to be a little tiny bit, but this is it. We ended up getting a, about a foot in most locations from this, this most recent storm. So we totaled probably two and a half feet of, out of all these last storms. And I have a a time lapse that I'm going to let go for another day just to get the storm totally cleared out and then uh, I'm going to upload it. It's not going to be a long time lapse like the last one. I, I figure out how to make it work out better, guys. I'm going to do a better job for you guys. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do the best I can. So, yeah, yeah. today made it up here safely and enjoying the beautiful weather I'm hoping uh, most of these people are not leaving town because that's the direction we're going right now as if we're leaving town it's a nice little dumping though I'll tell you we'll take it they do such a good job clearing this snow out though from the sides of the road. At like two, three, four in the morning, there's like 30 trucks lined up um, just getting snow sprayed right into their uh, truck beds. It's just awesome. It's, it's pretty cool to watch. So tomorrow, I think I already mentioned, I'm going to do a drone video tomorrow. And then the following day I'll release, <laughs> I'll release, I'll, <laughs> I'll upload or publish the, uh, uh, the time lapse. And then yeah, we got some more snow coming on Tuesday. That's going to be very minuscule, one to three inches. Just a little weak disturbance coming through, nothing special. Kid having fun on her daddy's shoulders. That's cool. Oh no, that's not a kid. It's a snowboard having fun on his daddy's shoulders. Weird. Sorry, my bad. I'm wearing these sunglasses because they're my prescription. Clearly, I need to get another prescription. I need to make it deeper. Deeper. 
deeper, 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 deeper. Uh, and I have a couple packages I need to pick up at the post office, but while it's open, the lines are so long, and I and and I I don't have 20 minutes minimum to wait. It's so unfortunate how busy I am these days. I went from someone who was just a total derelict and just manipulating my family and just 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 you know to nothing but work just constant and when i re and i don't consider this work my youtube channel or our youtube channel not at all but in terms of like what i'm trying to talk about i do refer to it as work but it's not work i love it and this hotel man look it's just it's like abandoned i put my mom up there in the summertime two years ago that's called the marina inn it's very nice man it's very nice I really wanted to kind of go a little bit faster just so we can get to the other, get closer to the other side while we still have some of this light because this is a beautiful time of day to record. Beautiful, especially with these iPhones. My goodness. The picture is just, just astounding. Instead of taking the main street here, we're going to take Lakeview. So, guys, this is the, this. I'm going to take us the furthest you can go. Instead of going that way on Big Bear Boulevard, we're going to go this way. place that I want to stay right here it's called uh what is it called uh snow lake lodge I think no hang on let's see here because it's around the lake the lakefront lodge and they have rooms for a really good price they're like 35 40 bucks in the summertime
these homes are right here on the lake. Wow. Just incredible. That fence wasn't there. Well, actually, that fence is probably not a bad thing if you want to sled right there. But obviously, you can't sled on private property right there. But when you find spots that look like it'd be fun to sled, you know, have fun. But obviously, really make sure that there's no, no trespassing signs and stuff like that. And I'm sure that's what you guys do anyway. But yeah. snowbanks are holy holy guys this is insane sunlight to finish this but my goodness it's just incredible how much snow they got down here unreal guys this neighborhood's right on the lake basically it's really great they have a mobile home park right here man this is guys this is beautiful winter wonderland for sure yeah we might not have enough uh, light to get to the other side so maybe we'll just head back and go through the village and stuff like that man of the back roads but maybe not because we got to see all this snow back here Six or seven, eight feet, or something like that. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable, my man. I love it though. I wish we would get that kind of snowfall. So, unfortunately, guys, we're not going to make the right like we planned on originally. We're going to hang a hang a lefty. Such a beautiful place, guys. Look at this. Couldn't be happier, man. And as I said, if you see a couple more snowflakes, just know it's over. It's over between us. We're done. The snowflakes are done for the most part. As I said about, it's supposed to be completely done by about six or seven o'clock and it's 5.30, 28 degrees. But it's pretty much done now. As I said, you might see a couple more snowflakes, but nothing, nothing big. But I, I wanted to get the aftermath video to you guys right now, um, so we can do uh, the drone video tomorrow. Because tomorrow I know I'm going to be so busy with my job too. So, oh, these poor guys, it's such a pain in the butt. 
I've been in that position though, guys, because I didn't I didn't have chains. The one time I had to have chains up here, I made it up here, but then I couldn't, I had a hard time just driving around town. It was really strange. But this was when I was in my early 20s and I paid someone to put the chains on because we didn't have YouTube or anything back then. And it was just really difficult um, to get them on properly. So I paid someone up here and it was a lot of money. But there's a lot of really good people up here who are really sweet who will help you out, you guys, you know? Don't let the few bad apples who talk smack about the tourists um, ruin your experience because uh, they're not part of the experience, trust me. They're the part that Big Bear tries to hide. <laughs> um, most of the people here are genuinely awesome people with big hearts who are always willing to help people. Look at all that snow. Are you kidding? Hey, Sosa. I never like him. For all I know, he had me shut up and my friend Angel Hernandez killed. But I'm here and he's not. You wanna go out with me, then good. If not, then make a move. What movie is that from, guys? Come on. Come on. Scar Fizzy in the hizzy. I wish all of you could be here right now to enjoy this splendor, the beauty. You know, I've never eaten at this boneside down place and I really want to, but the dude's hours are so odd. Well, not odd, He's, there, there, there just aren't many hours. But I've heard it's very, very terrific over there. Speaking of terrific, once we get to the village, I'm gonna go through taco smell. Cause I'm craving a little bit of taco smell. Look at how many of you are up here having fun, man. I'm so happy to see that. I'm so glad you guys are getting out. As I said, bring your sleds and sled wherever the heck you want, as long as it doesn't say private property or no trespassing and stuff, guys. But some of the like well-known spots are always full. So try to find something else. But as I said, just be respectful, just like you would down there. I know you will. So just, I know I don't have to say anything. Village at Big Bear Lake, man. You gotta love this place. And as I said, this time of day is so perfect for these videos because the light is just beautiful. Look at this guy freaking sprinting right on, dude. For me, that's a sprint because I'm like super out of shape. Super out of shape, man. This guy's got a camera. Okay, cool. Taking pictures of our beautiful place. I love that. You guys, it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy, especially seeing all you guys up here and taking your pictures and just having fun, creating these awesome memories with your families and friends. I'm really happy for you guys. Truly, truly, truly happy.
So as I said, this is the Big Bear Village. It looks so incredibly beautiful right now. The roads aren't too shabby, you guys. You guys saw that, right? Some parts are not too fun. Um, yesterday was really bad, though. Yesterday, we had another break in the storm, so um, a lot of the snow that was on the ground turned to slush. And I'm telling you, that was so hard to drive, and that was probably the hardest day that I've had so far this past uh, two weeks. The most difficult day. I shouldn't say hard, just most difficult. I hope the Taco Bell line isn't too incredibly long. We shall see. It's probably going to be really long. We're getting pretty close to din din time. more cars just pulled in what the what on the what in big bear lake is going on here no no you better not dude you better not no you better not just kidding he's not he's not he's not i got to go no i got to go i got to go yeah we made it look at this this is like a little ping pong arena in here this is great ping pong arena. What am I talking about? <laughs> Half the time, I don't know. Anyway, I think we'll be done with the video. Why not, huh? At, at Taco Bell. Look at how much snow, guys. Look at that. That's like... Yeah, that's like three feet of snow. I know it doesn't look like it from here, but it really is. No joke. Anyway, you guys take care. Thank you again for everything that live feed last night was awesome. Had a great time as usual. Um, even though we don't do those often, we've only done two in the last like year and a half or something. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Everything, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.